Hello and welcome. My name is Bob Bell and today I'm going to show you Content Management Part 2 where I'll be focusing on creating advertising content. Feel free to follow me on my blog, Twitter, LinkedIn, or my YouTube channel where this video will be posted. So what are you going to see in this demonstration? Well, we're going to show you the Business Tool Management Center, the B2C Storefront where you can do your shopping, and I'm going to focus on understanding content and scheduling that content for the end website. So first I'd like to review some terminology. Images or files as referenced in the Management Center are essentially the building blocks for advertisements. As you can see here I have an English, French, and Spanish version of the same advertisement. We then take those images and we associate them with an attachment. Consider an attachment a bundle where files are bundled under a single container. So in this case, the percentage offer attachment would contain all of the various translations for the image. And this attachment will then be used within a content space. So content adds things like alternate text and default actions, you know, click actions as an example, to a piece of content. So in this particular case, I created a piece of content called percentage off order, and I put the percentage off order attachment within there, and this will apply to all of the different sites that support the English, French, and Spanish languages. And I, could also, I can also alternatively put a click action on this particular image to do things like open up a product, open up a category, or just go to a specific URL as an example. So lastly, we want to schedule it. Well, we do this with web activities. A web activity schedules the content for a placement within a particular eSpot. In this web activity, you can see here that I am focusing on the e-marketing spot top pay category page ads and I'm going to fill it with all of this different content which is four different content pieces and we'll get to that more in the demonstration. Well that maps to a particular spot on the website and in this case the top category page ads is the e-spot that this content will be scheduled for. So let's go ahead inside the management center and see how this stuff all connects. Okay, so the first place we're going to start is under the Assets tab. This is where your files and attachments would be defined. And we're going to focus at the attachment layer for now. Um, and if we open up, for instance, our percentage offer, we can see all of the different files that are associated with this. So we've got the name, we've got a short description and a long description. And we can also specify which languages these files should be used for uh, based on, on the storefront. And in my configuration, I really only have three stores set up uh, for um, English, French, and Spanish. And you can see I have those selected. If I had multiple more languages uh, installed, on this particular instance, you would see those um, checked off also. But we can come in and we can actually preview the different images right within the tooling. And we can see them. And so this is our attachment. And like I said, it's a higher level container and all of the different translated images will fall under this one code. So if we go over to the marketing tab and look at the content, if you recall, this is where you can associate the asset, which is an attachment. And you can also give um, some alternate text or even a click action, whether it's a predefined click action, an action for um, a particular promotion or a custom URL 
uh, as a quick action, you can do that. In this particular advertisement, I don't have any action defined. Um, so this is really just a container uh, to put the, um, the, the, the asset within the content. So it can be scheduled inside of an activity. So if you recall, we wanted to put this particular piece of content in the top category page ad. So if we open that up, this is the eSpot definition. And you can see it doesn't have any default content. Um, it doesn't display categories. It's just a basic eSpot on the site. But what we can do is list the different activities, either in a list format or a calendar format, for this eSpot. And you can see here I have one web activity um, enabled. And inside of that web activity, I just simply say, look, it's going to be valid for these times, which is indefinitely, start and end date. And, you know, this is where you would actually do your scheduling. So if you've got something going on on like August 1st, this is where you would set up these dates and you would schedule the content uh, to be active between the start date and the end date. And then you pick the spot that you want it to uh, be placed in. And in this case, I pick top category page ads. And then lastly, we go ahead and assign a different content. And you can see in this eSpot uh, web activity, we actually have four different pieces of content and the percentage offer just happens to be one of them. And once again, we can also preview it here just to make sure we're getting the right advertisement. But we also have these other ones that are set up to also show. So this eSpot will show these randomly to the shopper. So let's go ahead and look at the end result in the website to see how this stuff is actually shown on the website. So here we are in the storefront and if you remember the eSpot was on category pages so we'd have to go to a category page to actually see it. So let's go to furniture. And you'll notice there's our advertisement. And inside of the starter store, you can actually turn on the eSpots to see you know, where, what the eSpot names are. And you can turn them off. But if I sit here and I refresh, you'll also notice that it rotates through the different advertisements inside of that uh, content uh, because the web activity specified four different pieces of content for this spot it will go ahead and just randomly iterate through those so that's how you schedule content for a web uh, for an e-spot using a web activity and then associating it to a piece of content which encapsulates images uh, based on attachments and files. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.